So Grant, um, a fantastic start here at Easter Road tonight, but uh, disappointing the way it ended. Absolutely. Um, I mean, I think the obviously going going in front was um, aye good good for us. I thought we we managed to um, contain um, and minimise their chances, but you know that's a six minute spell where we've we've done really really poorly, um, with the exception of the the wonder strike really. Um, so overall, you know, I, I just don't believe it was a four one result. Um, but second half, I thought players were outstanding we played most of the game in their half really took the game towards them um, but you know I need to look back at it I think um, th to be more accurate but um, yeah disappointing result Let's focus on the negatives first of course you touched on just there six um, minutes between uh, those first three goals in the first half um, is it frustration for you that uh, they've come all so quickly? Um, yeah, I mean, obviously there's a danger that if you lose one, you, you kind of lose your focus and, and, and these kind of things occasionally will happen. But um, to do it a couple of times over when, if I'm honest, I just feel like the goals were, were preventable. Um, you know, even, even when you have to accept the, the fullbacks hit a great strike, um, the lead up to that and how she got into that position is really, really poor on our part. Um, so, yeah, it's it's uh, it's difficult and, and when you have a game plan and, and we believe we've executed it fairly well to minimise their opportunities um, and, and probably to, to counter and play our own and, and create our own, um, aye, it's just disappointing. Well, let's focus on that second minute goal from Siobhan Hunter. It's now the sixth goal she scored in the last three games uh, for a defender. She keeps on scoring. Yeah, I, I don't know what it is at the minute. Um, you, you often find possibly that a player like Shiv that's um, in attacking set pieces and things, um, you know, the ball's falling to her at the moment, it's great, but it's because she's on the move and she's attacking things um, and she's reacted really well to the second ball today. So, um, yeah, I'm, I'm delighted with her just now. And uh, obviously the jump from domestic football to the European stage is quite a massive one, but... Can you take the positive from tonight that shows that Hibernian can go toe to toe with the top European sides? Yeah, no doubt about it. I mean, I, I, you know, there's a lot of um, a, a lot of chat beforehand about the quality of the opponent, and there's no doubt there's there's massive qualities there. You know, there's real good quality, experience, international players, um, etc. But um, you know, I don't think we should play with any fear against them. And, and you know, what I what I witnessed certainly, and I might have it wrong, um, but certainly long periods of that game and I think especially in the second half um, we've done more than compete with them you know we've put them right in the back foot now did they ease off because they were ahead in the game I'm not sure yet but I think um, the, the willingness for our girls to go and play against an opponent at that level with really minimal amount of fear um, is, is so commendable it's, it's great How big is a second line now in, the, in Prague later this month? Yeah I mean it's a tough one Let, let's be honest Um we're only looking for a 3-0 victory from the players now. So, um, yeah, again, we need to be, be very careful of them on the on the break um, where I think they can hurt us. Um, but again, I feel like if we play as well as we can and, and, you know, maybe get another early goal, it might just put doubt in their mind. Who knows? You know, it's a funny game. Over a 1,000 fans here in attendance at Easter Road tonight. Uh, must give only yourself and the squad a boost to, to have that many Hibernian supporters here uh, supporting the women's team. Yeah, it's great, and, and you know we heard them all match, and and, and even when the, the the goals against us went in, they, they gave us a rouse and tried to try to get some reaction from the players, and you know I think probably everyone watching will will see um, the the effort that the players gave, um, you know. So the crowd is invaluable, really, and it's great to see so many along. How important is it now to put this game aside and uh, put focus and lift these players back up for that Scottish Cup game uh, against Hamilton at the weekend? Yeah, it's a big ask. The players will get a bit of rest now. We'll, we'll train again before um, Sunday, clearly. Um, but, you know, we know what's expected. It's a cup tie. Um, we, we, we like those. Um, we are holders and defenders of the trophy. And, and again, we, we, we look to go into that competition as deep as we possibly can um, in that defence. And we set out to win it. That, that's the bottom line. Um, but, yeah, we'll, we'll need to settle the players down now. It's, they'll, they'll be disappointed. They've put a lot into a game and come away with very little. Um, but, you know, it's a different job on, on Sunday and we'll freshen up the team. Um, you know, we'll, we'll play a different system um, because we set out to do something tonight that we won't do on Sunday. Um, but, um, yeah, we'll, 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 we'll be fine by Sunday. Grant, thank you very much. No problem.